four hour chili. Yeah. Very excellent, good chili. What's going on? So you start out with, this is 32 ounces of chicken broth. We've made our own broth. We usually make our own, right? Yeah. And it's super easy and it, it does improve flavor. You can just take a whole chicken and boil it for 12 to 24 hours with maybe some onions and celery and then thrown you in there. Filter it out. Yeah, <coughs> strain it off and then maybe eat some of the chicken. Okay. So that's onion powder. That's one tablespoon of onion powder and uh, garlic powder. Uh, before that was a teaspoon of brown sugar, and this is salt. We could have. <laughs> Dude, you put so much. Like, I cut out probably hours of this. There was so much of this. Yeah. You were like getting buff and shit. It was it's, rad. It's not the most efficient pepper grinder. So while you're putting stuff in, the, in this pot, you can be browning meat in the other pot. We did two pounds. Two pounds of meat. Wicked. We did wicked lean. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. But, you know, any any ground beef will do. Dude, pork would be sweet. It would. We have we made uh, wild boar chili. It was pretty good. I don't remember. It was tri-tip. a long time ago. We want to do tri-tip now. Yes, the next one is going to be tri-tip. So, that's one, two. What is it? Three tablespoons of? of chili powder. What kind? I use New Mexico chili powder. <laughs> Why? Because I like the flavor. You can also use ancho. Um, there's there's different. There's a whole bunch of different chili powders. But you recommend? I prefer New Mexico. I just like the flavor of it. Brown, brown, brown. So brown your meat. starts to boil yeah so you want to get it simmering about like that drain your meat drain off the beef juice cow juice and then you put the beef in after cooking that mixture right there for 30 minutes so this is after 30 minutes so get the spices with yeah, the broth you cook the spices in the broth for 30 minutes. Like a boil? Simmer or boil? Yeah, just a simmer, you know. And then combined. Yeah. And then you're going to boil this mixture, well, simmer it, for two hours. Yeah. And in a second, we'll show you what that kind of looks like. So don't go running off, running errands, unless you know what you're So doing. this is two hours later? Yeah, so two hours later, I get these ready. Three tomatoes, some form of Anaheim pepper, and a jalapeno. And there's going to be some onion in there also. I just chop these coarsely. I don't really need them super fine because we're just going to blend them. And then boil. Yeah, just add it in the mix. Have you ever made this without doing that? I guess you could use... Most people don't use fresh stuff like this. Like... This is what makes this chili recipe stand out, to the in max. my opinion. Yes, it takes it to the max, using fresh tomatoes and fresh peppers. Because you could, most people, I assume, you just use what tomato sauce, tomato paste. Tomato something? paste, yeah, or tomato sauce. Have They'll, you made it that most way? Most people also use like Sousen Goya, pre-mix, like bouillon cube kind of stuff. I don't use any of that stuff. Either. But it's probably pretty good. I'm sure. Does, it's how does your good. dad make it? That's what he does. He uses... He uses Sousen Goya. Which is funny, because this is his recipe, right? Yes, this is my adapted version of his recipe. But his is probably really, really good. It is it is good. It's very good. We I like should, mine better. We should have a, some sort of competition. Yeah, cook off. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, blend all this together. It makes a delicious smell. Um, you'll want to add a little water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, don't drink that. Pour it in there. So this is two hours later, right? Yeah, From so after you boiled the meat in... Yeah. Simmer. 
after you simmer it. They call it a nine double boil. So if you looked at it, there should be, theoretically, there should be nine bubbles at any given time. I hope you guys can count. Yeah. You just want it, you don't want it boiling, you want it simmering, but not like, not too low. There's, you know, there's the perfect touch. So this is cumin. You put a tablespoon How of cumin. How come you don't do it earlier? It's the secret of the chili. Are you joking? It's magic. You are joking. No, it's science. It's chili science. That's why you don't put the cumin in at the beginning. Oh, whatever. You put it in after you put it in, put in all the tomatoes and fresh peppers and stuff. Mm -hmm. After the two hour mark. Mm -hmm. Is that written down on the recipe? It is actually, it's right here. One tablespoon of cumin. You make like paper noises. <laughs> yes. So then you boil it for another 30 minutes. And it starts looking like this. Looks really delicious. And we add a little bit of sriracha sauce. Which is the first, I don't think we've done that before. We don't usually put sriracha, but. I was you know, surprised you did it. You're usually like, eh, it's too garlicky. So, you know, roughly two ounces. That might have been less than two ounces. And then you boil it for, you know, another 20 minutes. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on how thick you want it. This is more or less what ours ended up looking like. Enjoy! That's it. It's really, really good. Biatch. This is how you make excellent chili. Bitch. <laughs> yeah.